Nirvana. Uh, uh, hello. It smells Nirvana? like Teen Spirit by yeah. Nirvana. I have a poster of this album in my room. Yeah, I own all the records on vinyl, including Bleach. I love Nirvana. Love Nirvana. All my stuff is based on Grunge Up, which the flannel goes well with it. Iconic. I feel like it is one of the greatest songs of all time. Yeah. Do you guys know the members of Nirvana? No, no I the three don't. core members. Oh, Dave Grohl and Kurt Cobain, mm -hmm. and that's all I remember. It was Chris. <laughs> <laughs> This song, video, and album that immediately altered pop culture and music scene forever was uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. The start mm -hmm. of the wild grunge roller coaster via the Pacific Northwest from 1991 to the tragic deaths of Kurt in 1994. Ah, it still hurts. Today we'll be diving into their music videos and albums and see if these teens know Nirvana or like Nirvana. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Nirvana uh, released their first album, Bleach, in 1989, mm -hmm. and it made its way through the radio and like college radio scene, and it was like a minor but respected album for sub pop records. But fast forward to 1991, and they dropped Nevermind, and boom. There was more than just smells like Teen Spirit. Shout out to Butch Vig. Is that familiar to you? Somewhat. I'm forgetting the details. All right, here we go. Um, I know this one. Okay, yeah, I know this one. I'm telling you, their music has like this distinct flow. Come! As you are. Oh, his red hair! Oh, as you want you. You see both words! Yeah, it's like it's like for everybody. Uh. Okay. <gasps> you can't really like see him drumming, but it's cool because it's like that I don't have a gun. I see you, Joe! And they like transition. From the water. <laughs> this song is called Come As You Are. Yeah. So did you guys like it? Yes. What do you guys like about it? Maybe someone's insecure and they're just like, come, come as you are, be yourself. The transition, the water. Yeah, the water was cool. So some people think the song is about heroin, but Kurt said it's about what people are expected to act like. Oh, okay. Love that. So fun fact, the drummer for Nirvana uh, actually ended up becoming the front man for Foo, Foo Fighters. Fighters! I know, he was number two his whole life, and now he's number one, and he's helping other people become number one. All right, you guys ready for the next song? I'm ready. Yeah. I like it. I'm telling you, every song has a bass like that to it. I'm so happy, cause today I found my friends in my head. Go, Sophia. So that's but okay, okay, cause so are you. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. That bass, and I love how he's doing that. I think this is so cool to me. I don't know. This is just so cool. I'm trying to think of the name. It's like itching my brain. Oh, God. Yeah. I love this album. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like, that's not a hundred dollars? Did he throw it in the crowd? Oh, that would've been smart. Yeah, I love that they're just throwing the guitar. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. This is drama. Yeah. So, describe uh, to me the, the vibe of that music video. The best. That, that's just one word good. I want to crowd surf. I want to just jump into a crowd and just get carried around. <laughs> and feel the tickles on my back. This is just a throwing song. <laughs> it's, it's, a th it's a song where you just gotta get the anger out. You just yeah, gotta you just start gotta throwing. You just gotta throw. Stuff. You just, yeah! <laughs> Do you guys know the name of the song? So good. I don't. Actually. That is Lithium by Nirvana. Lithium. Uh, Got it. That makes more sense. Uh, what do you guys like about the song? I love how in the beginning too, it's like a little calmer too, yeah, and then but like, like the background of like fading of like everyone just being like, yeah. That music video, all the footage was from their real live performances. Really? So all of that was that for real. Well, there's a story that Dave Grohl told on a talk show once where he was like, they, um, the band was complaining about their instruments and how they were getting damaged on tour and they were asking like, hey, can we buy new instruments? And they were like, no, we don't want that, da 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 So on the last show to protest about getting new instruments, they 
destroyed everything, oh broke on the last song, and they were just were shattering all the instruments, and the audience was just like, hey. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah, Go did. drum player! Yeah, drummer. That was fire. Oh, he's into it. I have the person in my back. <laughs> These are the type of guys I, I would look have crushes on, believe it or not. Yeah. I love this song! I know it! I just don't know the words! <laughs> Dave Grohl's the type of person where if there's a slight breeze, he'll he'll like float float away. Oh, yeah, he's an angel. I really yeah. wanted to be a drummer for mm -hmm. a long time, and then my parents kept refusing to get me drums, and then that. Oh. So how was that? What do you guys think? Good. Hello. Very good. Show us why. Oh, I know this one. He looks like a good, good, good boy. A good citizen. Oh, I like how dead inside he looks. He's barely like. Oh, I feel like I know this. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this song. Look at this guy. And the one is like all my favorite songs, and it comes in the sky. He's good. That's an amazing performer. Oh. <laughs> what is going on now? <laughs> Bro, he's hot like that. He just looks so clean and put together. Do any girls have crushes on him? <laughs> he's just standing there. <laughs> he just panned the so, camera. Could you guys describe the feel of that video as compared to the ones that we saw before? A lot less like. Yeah. You know? A lot less. And a little more like, you know what I mean? So this was actually the second attempt at this music video. They no had way. made a music video before, and then uh, that was before Teen uh, Spirit like really blew up. Mm -hmm. So they went back and made another music video for this song, and then this music video went amazingly. Really? <laughs> yeah. So their uh, 1993 album, In Utero, named after a poem penned by Kurt's partner, Courtney Love. Only one video dropped before Kurt's passing, so now I present to you Heart Shaped Box. Yes! <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> Saw it coming. I know this song. Yeah, me too. His visuals were so interesting. And this album had such a different sound to it, too. Locked inside your heart shape. Really interesting. This is Heart Shape Box. <laughs> this is Heart Shape Box. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Close ups. We love close ups. Was he rich? Yeah, I would say so. What is going on? And the little heart-shaped box that Dave Grohl's is holding is so funny. Oh, it's very culty. So what did you guys just see? Describe the video in one word. Dream. Or a couple words. Creepy. Crack. Like, did Good. Good. <laughs> a good dream. This song has a lot of interpretations, and at one point, Kurt said it was literally about uh, kids with cancer. So kids with cancer. Uh, his girlfriend Courtney once tweeted it was about uh, her body. Anyways, moving on. Fun fact: <sighs> Kurt Cobain was not only a musician, but he was also an artist. He would create collages, sculptures, and paintings. Yeah. Some of which were even included in the artwork of Nirvana. Yeah, that is true. That's so nice. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Oh, is that Francis? Okay. Is that? I, thought... Mom and Dad went to a show. I like it. it me, <laughs> me too. Camera angles are nice. I think this is, I don't know this one. Mm. Their videos are very interesting with the close ups. Yeah. Like, like you said, kind of in the garage. Yeah. He's having a good time, right? Yeah. Literally, is just like yeah, 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 like yeah, a home yeah. video kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, low budget indie. Yeah. 
there's, there's nothing commercial about this art. It's just whatever he has to say. Exactly. It's like a bunch of high schoolers <laughs> in a high school so show. So great. Not that song. That is Sliver by uh, Nirvana. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you guys think about it? That I was, it was good. Cool. I thought it started off very slow, and I was like, this is a big change of pace. Mm -hmm. And then the guitar kind of like, like it almost yeah, like. You said it interrupted him in the song. Yeah. The little girl in the beginning of the video, that's his daughter. Aw. He has a kid? Yeah. And now his daughter is now dating Tony Hawk's son. Which what? is crazy. Yeah. Uh, Their kid is going to be the coolest kid that's ever walked on the earth. Literally. They're going to be like so pretty too. Oh. You guys ready for the next song? So ready. Let's go. Woo! They kind of have this kind of sound throughout the back of all their videos. It's like, a good shot, like how they were in that shop for longer. Is this, um, this looks like a collage of like interviews and videos. I think automatically this and Teenage, uh, smells like Teenage Spirit. It's like, these are my favorite videos so mm -hmm. far. But that is A-OK. -okay. This is another one of like those montage music videos. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> Smashing guitars, still surf, surfing the crowd. Great. I actually don't know this one, but it's cool. I think I've heard this one before. This is my favorite one so far. His voice was so yeah. cool, though. It was so graspy. Do you know how much that guitar would have been worth by now? Hundreds, thousands. Wow. Kurt that, I think a hundred thousand or something like Kurt Cobain's guitar. Yeah, that was the Thank final you. song recorded by Kurt Cobain before he committed suicide in April of 1994 But it was not released to the public until Nirvana's greatest hits album of 2002. Oh, wow mm -hmm. All right one final legendary performance. This is Nirvana's MTV unplugged <gasps> performance raw intimate and a window showcasing a gentler softer Cobain that David Bowie covered this is um I this is my favorite record I own on vinyl. Oh nice. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Yeah, I've seen this. This is like a huge like. And I only know because he's in his little sweater. <laughs> he actually sings in this though. That's the thing. All of them are just like acoustics. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Ow. Crazy. And are there no drums? Yeah. And also his voice crack thing. Yeah. That do you know how hard that is to do? Super. He could have been this or he could have been clean. It's, it's a very versatile look. But we're still screaming. Mm -hmm. He's got those vocals are crazy. That's hard work. He's I can't scream him. like that. Yeah. I just move. Like and he's in just a chair with wheels. He reminds me of Rick Friend. Rick's friend from Walking Dead. <laughs> he looked almost scared. Yeah, yeah. His vocals are amazing, but it's almost like they don't fit the tune of the song. Yeah. Know what I mean? But like, it's, it still somehow works amazingly. Yeah. So unoriginal. I've never heard <laughs> the old guy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Weird Al? <laughs> Is it? Uh, I get random shots. <laughs> I'm right there, I love it. <laughs> Very Weird Al of them. Yeah. At least he included the drumming. I think I've heard That's so funny! I think I've heard of this. That is hilarious. Did this blow up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the baby. Is that a baby? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 huh? <laughs> this is awesome. This is amazing. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Was that was that, that out? That was weird out. Made a parody of Teen Spirit. That's so funny. He kind of really does. That was really good. He captured the whole Nirvana spirit. So yes, that was Nirvana. So what song did you guys like from today that we, I showed you? Uh, one of my favorite songs was You Know You're Right. Yeah, and to be unplugged was my favorite song. All right, final thoughts. How did we feel about Nirvana before walking into this room? And now how do we feel now? Love them. Love them. 
Yep. 10 out of 10. 10 out 11 of 10. out of 10. But thanks to you guys, I was clueless. <gasps> and I was help to find the truth. A fan. Watching this episode, let us know which one of these songs was your favorite in the comments below. Bye! Bye.